Hello, what's up mga kaibigan? Good morning mga ka-DIY. Kamusta kayo dyan? Welcome to our first tutorial vlog. Now for this video, we're going to downgrade our operating system from Windows 10 down to Windows 7. No? So for this tutorial, we'll be using my Dell Inspiron 5559 laptop. Okay. We have two options para sa ma-downgrade ang ating system. First, the recovery option and the second one is the reformatting or you know reinstalling our OS now to use your recovery option simply navigate to your search box located on the left bottom corner of your windows desktop right here so yeah click and go ahead and type the recovery options the word na recovery option and then from there alabas ng recovery options and then just simply open it now you see windows has given you 10 days from the day that you have upgraded your system be able to downgrade back to your old operating system without any problem no for example nag update kayo ng um july 1 you are allowed to go downgrade your operating system until July 10. So, 10 days lang ang palugi. Now, if in any case, natapos na ang 10 days at naka-gray color na ang yung get started button right here, that, mean, that means you have already consumed your 10 days OS trial and will never go back to your old system. At least that's the point of this video. Now, for those of you who can still go back, go ahead and click Get Started and um, follow the instructions. Should be the easiest way to be able to downgrade back to your OS. Now, just go ahead and follow the instructions. And for us, na expired na ang 10 days, please follow me to the next step. For the next step, the idea is to change the sequence of the bootable device in our machine sa boot menu niya. And to access that boot menu, we need to prepare our USB or DVD bootable device. No? Itong DVD na to, is ito yung included dun sa binili mo na computer. Now, in many cases, this DVD is not given to you. So, you can go ahead and buy a genuine Windows sa mall nearest you or buy a pirated bootable USB device in Lazada or Shopee which in case I would not recommend pero you can also do that at your own risk also so it would cost maybe around 500 PHP at napakadali lang naman pong gawin ng bootable device and um, if you want me to teach you how to create one just comment down below and I will teach you to create a bootable USB device now for those of you who have already a USB or DVD bootable device, insert it now and we will restart our system and prepare to press F2 on your keyboard. So just go ahead and um, click this power button and restart and then prepare na yung ano nyo, fingers above F2. So so we will be pressing F2 right before siya mag welcome right before lalabas yung um, logo ng Windows para ma-access natin yung bootable device so kailangan natin siyang restart guys just click restart then as you can see here blank na hindi ko lang mapakita but just prepare your uh, fingers above F2 and then it should restart by any moment and then press it press nyo lang siya and then this should give you an access dun sa boot menu Ayan. so we'll just wait for a few moments no, hindi ko na lang i-skip to kasi ayan na so press F2 Ayan, repeatedly and from there Ayan. As you can see, ayan, lumabas na yung uh, boot menu. Ayan. So, let me, let, me, let me take my camera. 
all right so now you have here your boot menu so Dell Inspiron 5559 so go ahead and go to the sequ boot sequence you can use this arrow on your keyboard but, uh, you can also use this ano, um, mouse na lang para mas madali Ayan. so go ahead and click boot sequence and then navigate here sa yung top right corner as you can see ang sequence niya ngayon is from internal HDD USB DVD diskette drive onboard and IC so ang gagawin natin is to put whatever you're using for example you're using a CD or DVD drive you need to put it dun sa pinakauna which in my case I'm using USB storage device so lalagay ko lang siya dun sa una no? so kung DVD ang ginagamit nyo just put it on the top by clicking this arrow up here and so ayan nasa top na siya so ako nasa USB storage device yung bootable ano ko, windows ko so yan ang ilalagay ko sa first and then internal HDD and then DVD yan so that's basically it just need now to put to click the apply button right here sa so, yung bottom right click apply okay and then exit now pag pinindot nyo yung exit magre restart na siya and um, it will access your USB bootable device or your DVD bootable device so it's running now and okay now windows is already loading your files that is that means naka-access na siya doon sa USB mo nilo-load niya na yung windows 7 mo and as you can see nagbago na yung ano niya starting windows hindi na siya doon sa windows 10 so it is now accessing yung bootable device mo and so this is the start of the setup and as you can see it pops out windows 7 na yung uh, installation na windows na siya so english blah 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 time and currency keyboard method just click next and install now so set up set up is starting antayin na natin sa glit so i will just remind you the operating system of your computer so make sure to check it out before you start and uh, tulad nga ng binanggit ko kanina so yeah there you go just go ahead and click uh, x64 kasi x64 yung Dell 5559 eh. 64-bits yung operating system niya so you can go ahead and choose x64 and then click next okay next lang and then I accept of course click nyo lang yan next and then now you have two options here upgrade or uh, custom advance so sa upgrade ito yung option for example you are coming from windows 7 gusto mo mag upgrade to windows 8 or windows 10 ito yung i-click mo. But for our case, nagda-downgrade tayo eh. So, we will choose the custom advance. No? Custom advance ang i-click natin dito. Now, go ahead and click custom advance. So, pag, pag na-click na yung custom advance, papasok na kayo dito ngayon sa uh, partition ng inyong hard disk drive. In my case, I have plenty of partitions but ang ipipiliin nyo lang dito is yung partition kung nasaan yung uh, Windows operating system ninyo. Uh, so, probab that is most probably for many ano, machines, dalawa lang ang nakalagay dito. This partition 1 and this partition 2. If ever hindi nyo binago yung partition ng inyong laptop. 
So, if ever na, na change nyo, just click on the partition kung saan naka-install yung operating system ninyo. So, for you beginners, most probably nasa disk partition siya. Kasi yung disk partition 1 or yung system reserve, hindi nyo makiklik yan. Hindi nyo pwede magamit yan. So, primary lang yan. May kita nyo, primary ang nakalagay. So, yan lang ang pwede nyo maklik, hindi yung system. Okay. So, just go ahead and click it. And uh, you will be prompted to the next window na. So, just click next. And ngayon, magpo-prompt siya na ano, um, installation doon sa yan. So, this partition is selected might contain files from a previous Windows installation. Yan. So, click nyo lang ang OK dyan. And uh, all files will be ano, stored to Windows old na ano, folder, file nyo. So, kung, basahin, kung babasahin mo siya ng buo, meron dyan instruction is um, lahat ng old installations nyo and uh, files nyo nandun lang sa Windows old na folder. Okay? Alright, so to proceed with our next step, uh, pasensya na po dahil hindi ko na, ano, hindi ko na record yung, ano, unfortunately, hindi ko na pala na record yung, ano, yung pag-click ko ng OK. Papunta dun sa uh, next step. But uh, basically, when you click the OK, uh, it will start installing the Windows, ano na, OS yan. So, as you can see now, um, I have skipped this video for almost siguro mga 3 to 4 hours. And uh, already done copying Windows files, expanding Windows files, installation for features, and now it is installing updates and everything. So, important reminder lang pala, while you are doing this, you need to make sure na your computer is constantly may power. So, dapat nakasaksak siya. You need to plug in your laptop or computer to your power source at all times while doing this um, reinstalling or downgrade ng inyong Windows OS. So, kasi ang purpose niya is so as to not to disturb or alam mo yun, hindi siya ma-cut off sa kanyang installation process. So, just go ahead and input your new password. Ayan. So, kasi mangyayari dito fresh start ng Windows. Eh. So, click next. Ayan. So, so, for the product key, you just skip it. Mamaya na lang yan. Uncheck mo lang yung automatic activate. Then, next. Click mo lang. And, ayan. So, also, reminder, Windows 7 is already, ano, ni-stop na ni Windows ang support ng Windows 7. So, attacks will be plenty. No? Vulnerable na yung computer nyo. So, you just need to be careful of your online activities. So, alin dyan ang i-click nyo, it's not a problem. Kasi, basically, ang, ang Windows is already stop Windows 7 support. So, click ko lang dito yung universal coordinated time nyo which is in our case of Filipinas plus 8 and set the date set the time and then click mo lang yung next and uh, from there Windows is finalizing your settings na so you can see my screen here and so it is very normal po na mag restart mag black yung screen mag blank responsive yung computer to during the course of the process so hayaan nyo lang siya just leave it there and um, antayin nyo lang siya talaga you need plenty of patience here hindi po siya mabilis na proseso lalo na pag DVD device yung gamit nyo and uh, you can hear swirling sound and everything bayan mo lang siya and it will most probably be done in any moment yan so it's now starting the windows so, it will boot up, restart plenty of times. Which is very normal po. Hayaan nyo lang siya. And wait for it. 
You need plenty of patience. Yan. So now it is booting up. As you can see, Windows 7 Ultimate na yung nakalagay niya. So, from Windows 10, we have already successfully downgraded to Windows 7 Ultimate. So, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope may natutunan kayo dito. If ever you have questions or additional queries, just comment down below. Please do not forget to click like and subscribe to my baby channel. Support me, please. And happy installing, happy DIY. Peace out.